It's now time for our children to take up the children's offering. So as she starts to play the music, if you guys like to hold out those green flags. understand the Ford car. He was Ford himself. He made it. He was its creator. 
The Bible tells us in Psalms 100 verse 3, Know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. We are the people and the sheep of His pastures. Matthew 6 8 says, For you, Father, know the things you have, for your Father knows the things you need before you even ask Him. With you and me, things often go wrong. We make mistakes, our plans don't work out, we slip and fall. Sometimes we seem to be sliding backwards instead of making progress forwards. Our friends think they know the trouble and suggest a remedy, but things still don't go right. But there is one, there is one who knows about every weakness that you and I have. He came to the earth and he lived, he walked among us, he was tempted, and he felt sorrow. He died in our place for our sins, and because of our sins, he is our creator. He made us. Why shouldn't he know more about us and our needs than any other? And because of that, why shouldn't we go to him with our troubles and our trials? In Matthew 11, verses 28 and 29, Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Do you think you can trust Jesus with all of your troubles? All right, let's bow our heads and we'll have prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for all of these young people that are here this morning. I pray blessings upon each one of them, upon their parents. I pray that as they grow, they will continue to grow in grace and in strength, and that they will have a deeper and deeper relationship with you. For this we ask and pray in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. <laughs>